So I want to take today to recommend a book, How to Be an Anti-Racist by Professor Ibram Kendi. In it, Kendi details his personal journey toward his understanding of anti-racism and how it's tempered by his experience growing up black in America. At the beginning of each chapter, he lays out a basic principle of anti-racism and connects it to an experience he had growing up. It's interesting to see his journey, and at each step, he acknowledges how much he still has to learn, even after becoming a literal world-class expert on the subject. The book has a lot of really useful takeaways. For one, Kendi focuses on policies and behaviors, not people. It doesn't do a lot of good to try and change people, he says, when there are racist policies in effect. But he also cautions against the shield of institutional racism, where we look at a, a system or an institution and see that it has racist policies or racist principles without also looking at the fact that those principles and policies are enacted by people and supported by people. Second, and this is the focus of the book, in matters of race, there's no such thing as non-racist. Behaviors, policies, and power structures are either racist or anti-racist. There's no aspiring to be neutral or pure. It is necessary to dismantle racist power structures. The only thing that does that is anti-racism. And it's worth noting that Kendi doesn't beat around the bush when he discusses that. He talks about how he's abandoned using terms like problematic or microaggression in favor of calling things what they are. When they are racist, call them racist. Finally, he recognizes the distinction between segregationist and assimilationist ideas, but marks that both of those kinds of ideas are racist. And he's right. Right? Whereas segregationist recognizes a race of people and says that they will never be fully human, the assimilationist says that there are only certain things that they must do to become fully human, to become worthy of human rights. You can find assimilationist rhetoric in anything that involves asking people to change their customs or their names or their language in order to elevate themselves in some way to be considered worthy of regular human rights and legal protections. And most importantly, it isn't enough to join a book club. This is not a problem you can understand your way out of. This is a problem that takes direct action, it takes political action, it takes hard conversations and changes in your behavior. Knowing and doing are meaningfully different. There are links to resources down below, and I recommend Professor Kendi's book, there is so much more to learn from it. Stay awesome.